Well, we continue the conversation around the newly elected FIFA president Gia Gianni Infantino speaking to us right now is SABC News senior reporter Sfiso Romara. Sfiso, thank you very much for joining us on Sports and Prime. We were speaking to Dan Whitehead right now, the implications of FIFA still under the spotlight, Infantino quite linked quite a lot to Sepp Blatter. But let's bring it home to Africa. Here we had Tokyo Sekhwale running, drops out of the first round. A lot of people said his campaign, as Dan said, was tainted already because he didn't have a good campaign, if I want to call it that. He had a slow campaign, didn't go to many countries. Your take, and as far as Tokyo Sekhwale is concerned, a lot of people saying, though, he ran a good race, he might have lost the battle, but he definitely won the war. Yeah, well, Tabiso, I think Tokyo Sekhwale did an honorable thing by pulling out of the race before the actual elections because he stood no chance as far as I'm concerned. Because a couple of weeks ago, we all know that uh, he was Safa's preferred candidate. Um, Safa met him um, several weeks ago at the OR Tambo International. But Safa, you know, they, 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 it was a bit cagey leading up to this. They said um, they can support Tokyo provided if, you know, after CAF makes mm. uh, their f formal announcement. Yeah. And it became clear uh, several weeks ago that uh, the Asian was going to be, uh, Sheikh Khalifa was going to be the preferred candidate, preferred candidate of, of CAF. Of yeah. So uh, Tokyo stood no chance. I mean, if an experienced uh, football administrator like who's Jerome. Been in, who's been, in fact, uh, Jerome Falk, as well as the likes of, 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 of Sheikh Khalifa, been in football 15 years yes. as head of federation. Yes, so it, it, you know what? Uh, politics uh, came into play, Tabi, so it was not going to be easy for, for Tokyo. But maybe with the reforms that are going to be introduced, mm -hmm. well, maybe we must be positive and hope that, you know, Africa, we're going to see Africa or the Confederation of African yeah. Football playing a more leading role because yeah. we are the biggest uh, voting block yeah. within FIFA with 54 votes, is but the influence is yeah. too minimal. Is that man on television right now that we're seeing celebrating uh, the victory, the new president of FIFA, uh, the links now that hopefully Tokyo Sehwale has, you know, hooked up with him, where do you think they are, if there are any, and how would it benefit us? Because, again, the question comes in, if CAF refused to back an African candidate, what does that mean now for, uh, for Tokyo Sahual if he gets into that FIFA role within the Gianni Infantino camp? Yeah, well, um, you know what, Tabi, so um, I think it's still early days yeah. to say who's going to be in and whatever. We yeah. all know that for the past 11 years, Tokyo has been serving in various committees of FIFA. One in the anti-racism committee and in the media committee. Mm -hmm. Most probably, Tokyo is going to get a more influential role. I heard people earlier talking about maybe being secretary general. I'm not sure about that. Remember, that's the most important yeah. uh, position within, within FIFA. Yeah. I even uh, guess that, you know what, the secretary general is even more influential yeah. than the president because that's the CEO, yeah. he, uh, a person who deals with the day-to-day -day running of the organization. Mm. So it remains to be seen what role will Tokyo play, continue in the anti-racism yeah. uh, committee, which was very important under Seplata, or a more influential yeah. position. Let's look at uh, Infantino, young um, president, uh, 45 years of age. Um, what should we expect from him, especially on the African continent? I mean, we had Sir Blatter, who loved Africa, even gave us our first uh, World Cup. Will we see much change, deviation from, from, from Blatter's role, so to speak, uh, than what you, uh, uh, then Infantino is going to bring on the table? Well, uh, if you look at the reforms, I think uh, that's what, what should give Africa some hope. Because uh, as far as I'm concerned, Europe within uh, FIFA circles, mm. they are too powerful. They've got 53 votes. They are too powerful. Uh, in the previous structure, the 24-member executive yep. committee, they had like three vice presidents and five extra members. You compare them with Africa. Uh, with one vice with, president. With one, one vice president and three extra members. Yet we, had, we are the biggest federation. Exactly. So Europe, hopefully, going forward, uh, they will, maybe they must try and you know restrict yep. Uh, the power that they have because they are too powerful. Because now they have even suggested that 36 uh, council, uh, member council 
which replaces the current which is executive 25. committee. Then hopefully that will give FIFA a new direction because as far as I'm concerned, Europe is too powerful. Mm. Let's wrap it up. You've got a minute to go. Here's a question. There was talk about Russia or Qatar even losing the World Cup because you know, there was a platter, it was bad decision making. It looks like Russia is one in this case because uh, Infantino with UEFA, one of the people saying, no, 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 it's fine. We wanted to go to Russia and so is Qatar as well. So we put that to bed. Or is it going to be put to bed with this new administration coming in? I think Russia, it's 2016 now, yeah. two years before the actual staging of, of the World Cup. Yeah. It's too late if you you will try or attempt to get a replacement. Yeah. Russia, I think, for the fact that they are also in Europe, yeah. they will be given the go-ahead to host the event. Yeah. I think the biggest question mark will be on Qatar, the next World Cup. I'm not even sure if they will be able to get uh, the, an opportunity to host the event. Yes, Peter Romara, SABC News, Senior Sports Reporter. Thank you for joining, uh, joining us rather and sharing your views. I'm sure we're going to have hear much, much more on this. And apparently, um, Mr. Tokyo Sahwale might be speaking to us on Monday right on SABC News Channel. Is that correct? It will be interesting to speak to our men. Well, thank you very much, Peter. So we know you're going you're gonna to keep us updated as far as that's concerned. SABC News Senior Reporter, I said, Sir Ramara speaking to us.